How to overcome tough fishing conditions to put more salmon in the boat is what today's video is all about. Welcome back to Lake Michigan Angler TV. My name is Michael. The two days prior to us going out on this trip, which we specifically wanted to do because we knew we'd face these tougher conditions, we had strong northeast winds blowing in. Here on the western side of the lake, that does a lot to our water. Primarily two things. First is it will stack up warm water, which means you're gonna have to go out further to deeper, cooler water and find it and fish deeper. We're not having to deal with that in today's trip because the water's still cold top to bottom. However, if this was a summertime period, this would be more of a factor. And the second thing that it does is that it really introduces a lot more current into the water in various directions at various speeds, and it can make for a very challenging fishing situation because you need to make sure you're presenting your lures at the right speeds and at the right angles that these fish want. And now today's trip, we're gonna utilize that fish hawk to help us dial it in and put the beating down on these kings. Enjoy. That. 32 down on a rigger. I don't even know what spoon was on there. That new one. New stinger spoon. Nick, we got Jerry with us and Ron behind me here. We're aboard the Ironic. Uh, we're out here targeting King. That was our first King we've not even set up yet. I think this is a four color. Not really sure what spoon's on here. Uh, kind of feels like it might be a lake trout or a coho. Just turned south, so we might have found uh, the direction we need to go. Uh, we'll see. Fuck it up, fuck it up. We got a double about the lake. Alright, lake trout came on a uh, four color. one king and two lakers we uh trying to put together the current's a little funky out here right now so the south south trolls pretty good um we're two two four to two six up top and about anywhere from two seven to three on the ball um it's really helping us dial in the bite on SWR on the downrigger. Uh, not sure what it is yet. Feels kind of like it might be a lake trout. Oh, it might have come off. Oh, it's coming at me. Might be a king. I don't know he's hooked yet. Oh, oh there he's jumping back there. Yeah, king. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Big shark. Yeah, I got him close to the boat, and then he made another run. He's coming again. Swimming right at it. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's what we're after right there, boys. King Sam. <laughs> he did that first. Kind of lazy. So he hit the uh, hit the uh, SWR on the rigger with the uh, frog ice. flounder and a very good spoon for us so we when we turned south we caught fish but all we were catching was lake trout we noticed that the current was super bad so we switched our angle started trolling southwest picked two kings up immediately so you know we watched the we watched what the fish hawk tells us and then we change our angles, we watch the speed, and try to start putting stuff together. But if we didn't have that, we would have no idea what the current's doing down there. Uh, it seems like it's mostly a spoon, spoon bite. Uh, standard size, flasher flies have been pretty quiet. Um, anything at darker colors, darker greens, blacks, a little bit of purples, um, dark dots on them. That's that that sort of pattern's working really good right now. Um, your brighter silvers and RVs aren't working so good today. We we'll keep cycling through, trying to trying to put our our best spoons out. A little bit of an angle. SWR just went 32 down. We changed our angle a little to the west and. Got bit. Oh yeah. Just jump back right there after. It's a nice king. Hit on SWR, 30 down. Turned around, we're, now we're heading north into the waves. Uh, the current obviously is going to be different this way. Uh, we are catching those fish 2.5 to 2.7 at the ball. So right now I'm just trying to adjust my speed to get to that same speed um, and see uh, if we can catch them going north at the same same speed. Um, the current's pretty bad out here today. I mean, I'm one, one nine knots on the surface and I'm three at the ball right now. So right now I'm just trying to get the speed dialed in going this way. Just hooked up on the rigger again. Today looking for kings, tough conditions. Spoons were probably the best for us today. Uh, downriggers seemed to shine. Uh, not sure why. Could be the current. That's why the boards weren't doing as well. Um, we relied on the fish hawk heavily today uh, for our speed uh, to find the direction the fish wanted the wanted the baits. Um, speed was different, almost a mile different. 32 feet down versus the surface speed. So using that fish hawk is a big advantage out there. But yeah, best was our riggers, like Ron said, on uh, SWR 30 foot down. 
and mono rigger, 32 foot down, performed very well with frog color spoons, as you'll see in the video. And other spoons that have been good are um, anything with dark colors on it, dark ladder backs, blacks, dark greens, browns. Um, yeah, get out there, try it, get a fish hawk. That way you can dial your speeds, your angles in. Um, it makes a it makes a big difference out here. You know, small details as far as direction, speed, um, the way you're presenting the lure can make a big difference in your catch. Uh, if you need any any equipment, lures, fish hawks, anything to help dial in your presentation, stop by Lake Michigan Angler, and they have everything you need.